Hi right, guys, Philip here from MyPip Cash, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to heavily increase your open rate in your emails and get more clicks and get more sales as a result. I'm going to show you inside my uh, Get Response account and my autoresponder. I'm going to show you what to do, and I want to give you some tips about email marketing and how you can increase conversions, increase opens and clicks, and so on, and uh, make more money in the long run uh, using affiliate marketing. And by the way, if you want a 12-step action plan, uh, which is free, where you can learn all this anyway, uh, click the link in the description and jump in and get started today for free. Uh, so, uh, this here represents uh, a normal autoresponder. Somebody joins your email list right here and then they are sent uh, the welcome message. And on day one, they're sent one message, day two, the next message, day three, the next message. And you carry on that for as long as you want to. You can see right here. Now this here is the standard way of doing things, and uh, does it work? Of course it does. But there is a huge miss, missed opportunity right here, um, because when you send one email out to your to your list, and then the next day you send another one, the vast majority of people, probably eighty percent plus, will not open that email. Okay, because it ends up in the spam folder, it ends up in. Uh, you know, promotions folder, You are too, people are too busy to open it, or, or they open it, but only glance at it for a second, okay? And there, there are a whole, there's a whole list of reasons why people don't open their emails. You know, personally, I'll get probably in the region of 50 to 100 emails per day. Uh, so I am very selective about which emails I open and which emails I actually bother to read and to click on and so forth. But I'm sure you can see here that uh, this here is a very is a it's a missed opportunity, right? So if you look at this the basic framework here of simply sending one message one day, the next day, the next day, the next day, will it work? Of course. But I'm sure you can see this here represents a massive missed opportunity right here. All right, uh, because you have the ability to resend. Right, if you use automation. You can uh, basically follow the exact same pattern, but do a resend. You can send the same message again 12 hours later to maximize, um, to increase your open rate, right? And that is something you can do right here inside your your um, automations inside Get Response. Um, so uh, to explain here, somebody joins your list, and then on day one they receive one email. 12 hours after that email, if they have not opened it, you resend the same message again before you send the second message on the next day, right? And here, this is illustrated here. So somebody joins my list right here, okay? And they're sent the first message right here. And you can see, out of the 826 people who've been part of this sequence, uh, 372 opened that email, which is great, uh, but 442 did not open the email. And what I do is after, you can see here, after one day, uh, if they do not open the email, I simply uh, send the same message again. And you can see when I sent the second message, 62 out of those 442 opened the second email, right? And same again, out of those 378 did not open that email, and I resent it a third time, and 35 people opened the, the third email. So you can see here, had I not resent the same message twice over, I would have missed out on 100 opens, right? And you know, if you uh, if you sort of extrapolate that across across the lifetime of your list, it doesn't matter. No matter how big or how small it is, that equals thousands and thousands of opens and thousands and thousands of clicks, which should be going to your squeeze page, your blog post, your channel, wherever. But it's not. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'm sure you can see here that this that this traditional way of sending emails, just one after the other, after the other, after the other, does it work? Of course it does. But when you do not resend messages, depending on if someone opens the email or not, you are missing out on vital opportunities just like this, where you can get additional uh, opens. So I'll jump into my get response account here and I'll show you what I mean. If you go into the menu here and go to automations, and you click on create new automation, and from here you have a bunch of templates you can use if you want to, or you can create a new one, which I'll show you right now. Click on start new, and from here you simply uh, click yeah, this, and you call this whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'll, I'll just call it test because obviously I'm just running a test here, and you have uh, various various conditions here which you can start this uh, automation uh, from. So if someone subscribes, or if you know, if, if you send the message, that can be the, the starting point of an automation, or if they move to a list, copy. You know, this here depends on what your what your starting point is. So let's say for for example, if uh, I'll say if su subscribes. So if somebody subscribes to a specific list, all right, if I, I'll click on the condition here, and on the right here, you'll get various elements and properties that you can uh, specify. So if somebody subscribes to a very specific list, for example, the advanced traffic blueprint list, uh, 
And um, what I'll do then, if they join that one, okay, um, and I'll say API, if they join that one, what I'll do is I'll add a condition here saying send a message, right? And from here, I would then come here and choose whatever message um, I wanted. Okay, I'm, not, I'm just going to choose a random one here for the for the example of this. Um, and so at that point here, when someone subscribes to this channel here, or this, this list, they are sent this message here. Awesome. Okay. And then you have a whole host of options here that we can choose. Um, and for the sake of this one, I'll choose if the message is open. To consider when any newsletter is opened. Okay, I'll link these two together. And I'll choose that same message to because it needs to be allocated to that one. I'll, so you can see I've, I've chosen that message here again now. So if this message here is opened, then this um, condition is activated. If they are, cool. I'll move them down here and I'll choose a wait option. Uh, wait. They'll wait for one day. If but uh, here, if I click on this, you can see the condition here. After one day, right here. If uh, they have not opened this email, I will then simply send another one. I can, I can here, I can send the exact same one again, or I can send the same message with a different headline. I can split test. You know, I can, you know, uh, pick and choose and do various options here. But I'll, I'll just choose for argument's sake to have the same message sent again. Okay, um, and then after, after that's been sent, you can say wait for one day. Or I can say, I have the same condition again. Did they open it? And so on, just like I did here in this other automation. So I'm sure you can see here, this, this is obviously up, up to you. It's up to your own, to own interpretation of what you want to do with your, with your automation, right? And then you continue this down the line here, right? And this is how you do it. Now, I show you various, various automations and stuff inside my 12-step uh, action plan. So jump inside um, the link in the description here. You can jump in there and have a look. Um, and also inside the Taking Action Online, which is my fully fledged uh, membership site, I have multiple case studies where I show you exactly what, how I do this, right? But this is the basic starting point, and you build this out from here. So if you want to learn how to create automations to heavily increase your open rate uh, with a get response, then simply come in and try this, okay? Mess around, try it. If you exit here, and uh, if you leave this chat here, and you know they have various, you know, they, they've got free webinars, they've got free training, training sessions, they even got the chat here. You can chat these guys and ask them questions, ask for resources. You know they have um, a whole help section here. You know here we go, list building program. They have all this stuff. Okay, so you use it. That's what's here for. All this training is right here. It's free. It's included in everything. Okay, um, and so if you want to learn how to remove yourself from this traditional autoresponder one, two, three, four, and start using advanced automations. Okay, get response is a great solution for that. So with that in mind, guys, I hope this is helpful. Uh, when it comes to uh, creating these automations like this, it, there's no rocket science behind it, okay? Uh, but it takes practice. That's simple, it takes practice. You have to move forward and just get on with it, okay? There's no point in delaying. Just try it, go for it, and get started building a list and start increasing your open rates.